Welcome to part two of my Dior shoe collection video. I'm going to get right into it and we will start with the pumps. The first pump is this beautiful black one and it has a caged design with little tiny flowers all over it. It's kind of interesting how the inside of it is white and they did the outside black. You can kind of actually see the white through the black when you're wearing the shoe. The other thing I like about this shoe is the shape of the heel. It kind of like curves around and then the heel part gets a little bit wider at the bottom. And I think all these little flowers throughout is very Dior. It's very feminine and flirty and very in line with the brand. The next pump is this denim one. I wish the heel was higher, but in the US, they only made this shorter version. I think in Europe or some other countries, they may have made this denim one in a higher heel. I don't have very many pumps with a denim fabric, and I like shoes with this denim fabric because they go so nicely with jeans. This pump has all these little crystal flowers that go all around. And unfortunately, one of the flowers actually fell off. I've only worn this shoe a few times and I'm not really sure how it happened. But I remember one day I finished wearing it and I took them off and then I realized it was missing a little flower. So it must have fallen off while I was walking or something because they look like they are stitched on or glued on. I'm not quite sure. I was saying how I love the shape of this heel, but it's more noticeable in this one. It has a very, very similar silhouette, but this one is a lot more subtle versus this one you can really tell. I love this heel because I think it's so different and it's like an interesting touch. The next pump is more of a slingback and this is the same style as this one but it's a slingback version and it's also higher and in white, which is my favorite shoe color. I'm actually quite surprised that this shoe has stayed pretty white considering how many times I've worn it. It is a little bit brownish and yellowish near the edges, but in general, it looks white overall and no flowers are missing, which is a plus because I've actually worn this one a whole lot more than I've worn this denim one. Another Dior pump I have is this really cool Python one. Python is banned in California, but I got this one in London. I initially wasn't even going to get this shoe, but I got this fur shawl that's in the same teal color, and the salesperson showed me the shoe that matches with it, so I was like, I have to get the shoe as well. I think this is the highest Dior has ever made their heels because this looks like a 120 millimeter, like the Louboutin Socate. And the reason why I know is because Socates are my favorite and I can tell when a heel is 120 or 110 or 100 or 105. I'm very particular on heel heights and I always think the higher the heel, the better you feel. This shoe I have worn maybe only once or twice because I always forget about it. Because it's Python, you can see that it has the little Little scales all throughout and it's also a little bit delicate because python in general it lifts very easily especially on where it creases so when you wear it you just have to be careful not to accidentally rub it against something because that might cause some of the scales to peel this next one I have is one of my more interesting Dior shoes and Rihanna wore this one quite a while ago when it first came out. I have actually never worn it even though I do like it a lot. It's this white patent leather pump that wraps around the ankle and it has this big buckle bow across the front. This shoe is pretty easy to walk in and it's very comfortable because the heel is like a big barrel. It's not one of those thin stiletto heels like this for example. And this part just goes around your ankle like three or four times. And it has this little stretch part so you can pull it very, very tightly around your leg if you want. I really need to wear this shoe because even though it's from like, I don't know how many seasons ago, it's still a cool shoe. I think it will look nice even wrapped over the leg of a pant because a lot of people are doing that now with ankle strap shoes and this one has a very long strap to wrap around. This next shoe looks like it's some sort of exotic skin like a snake skin or a python. This is what I'm talking about but it's actually just plain leather that's embossed and I love the gray shiny blue metallic. The strap with a pop of red is really fun and I love how it has crystals around it. I wish the heel was higher because I like my heels to be very high, 
but it's this cute little kitten heel. This shoe I've worn a few times with denim and I like how it looks paired with jeans because of this blue color. It goes nicely together and then the red adds a nice pop. I also have the loafer version of this shoe and this one I've never worn because in general I don't tend to wear loafers. It's not really my style. But when I got this, I thought it was very cute with the little red charms all over it. It has this little circle crystal charm here and on the other side and on the back. And this big velvet black buckle. I really liked this embossed leather color and how it looks like an exotic skin. And maybe I'll wear this one in the fall winter time with some trousers. Now I have two pairs of Dior boots I'll show you. The first one is this black ankle booty with a gold heel. I love the heel with these striped pillar things. I think it makes it so much more cool than a plain solid gold heel. The front part of the shoe is a crinkled patent leather and then the middle portion is kind of a fabric material and then there's some patent leather woven throughout. It looks difficult to put on but there's actually a zipper on the side so it's very very easy i have a lot of black boots so unfortunately i never got around to wear this one but hopefully this winter because the heel isn't very high and also there's some traction on the bottom it should be very comfortable to wear i really need to go through sometime and eliminate all the black boots that i'm not going to wear or i don't plan on wearing because i have so many black shoes it's a little bit crazy and they all sit in this dark corner in my closet and it's just all dark and black. This next boot is definitely my favorite Dior shoe and possibly my favorite boot out of all of the boots that I have and it is this beautiful crystal mesh ankle boot. I purchased this shoe quite a while ago but I have never gotten a chance to wear it because I was trying to think of the perfect time to make its debut and it was going to be at this past fashion week but the outfit that I had planned for this shoe it ended up getting eliminated because I had too many outfits and I was trying to prioritize. This September I plan to bring them so maybe you'll see an outfit in them later this year. The thing I love about this shoe is I like how it's crystal polka dots because there's boots that do like a glitter all over to make them sparkly but I think that looks cheap and when they do it like these little crystals it has an even brighter sparkle near the sole of the shoe it's also scalloped and so it looks very feminine and then it has this plain solid black suede panel in the front. The only thing I wish I could change about this shoe is the heel height but we all know that Dior doesn't do their heels very high but I was willing to overlook it because it was just so beautiful and I also got this one in a half size smaller than I usually wear. I squeezed my feet in because the 39 was sold out and I ended up getting the 38 and a half because it was the last one. And I'm someone that will take a half size smaller or larger if it's a shoe that I really, really like and I don't want to pass up on. We have two more shoes left. That was number nine. And number 10 is my one and only pair of Dior flats. This is a black velvet and it has a big brooch in the front. I'm not really sure what this is supposed to symbolize, but it has a key right here and then also like a little leaf. So maybe it's kind of like a secret garden kind of idea. I'm not really sure. I actually really like Dior's velvet. There's different types of velvet and Saint Laurent does a very nice velvet as well, but Dior's, ooh, it's actually coming off onto my hands. So I should probably stop rubbing it. I am not a flats person, but I did get these flats. Hopefully someday I will take these out to wear. I'm not really sure. This last shoe is probably the most underwhelming, but I remember I got them because I needed a pool slide for a trip to Positano. I wore this all day long to the beach, walking around the town when I was in Positano. So I've definitely gotten some good use out of them during that trip. And I haven't worn them since, but I think this summer when I'm going to the pool or just walking around casually, they will be nice because they're super comfortable. I also have the matching book tote bag. And so I can probably carry them together when I go to the beach here in California. It's one of the very few pool slide sandals that I have. And this shoe concludes part two of my Dior shoe collection video. 
I hope you guys liked seeing the full collection. If you didn't get a chance to see part one, I will link it down below so you guys can go watch that as well. And I will see you in the next video. Bye!